this talk of skating's got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxie's final boogie breakdown tonight. Something then funky. I, we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. Well, folks, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. All right. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I guess yeah, that, that was a, a bit much for my taste. That last one was a it real call. To hear somebody come back from the brink like that. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. <sighs> You were thinking about Max on skates. Okay, so Roller Ricky's is here. He's gonna get attacked. Look at that. Another caller on the line. What are the odds? Better take it. Stop that. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. Hey, it's I Carrie. Safe. Carrie. Hey, I I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though. It not everybody made it and uh i i should have i should have read the friends list hey, a little bit better it's okay you were so brave earlier you're safe now i wanted to ask you why why he didn't why, why am i why what carrie why did he spare me oh carrie that's a dangerous why question to ask Mm. Maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I... Maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to... Why do this now? Very true. These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. Yeah, what you want to listen song? to? We got like song eight like songs. And thank you. This oh. next one goes out to Carrie. We got the song she wants to hear. Yeah, let's go. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? Yeah, that is weird. There must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Well, it's something to consider. I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. Okay. Needs to take a break. Stays in her booth. Looking rather suspicious. Let's get going, Peggy. Alrighty. We could run another segment or... Scratch that for us. We have a caller. Oh. Stop that. You're through to 189.16. The Scream. What's your emergency? Hello again, Forrest. Hello, lady. Still, I'm, I'm glad the girl didn't get hurt. Thanks for your concern. Are you in trouble? What's on your mind? I wanted to ask you again to play my song, Forrest. You said you were going to play it, but you didn't. Oh, your name was Dawn, right? Oh, right. Peggy. Yes. Oh, well remembered. My name is Dawn, and I wanted to ask you again to play my tune, Forrest. Long Ride Home? You know... The one that Peggy said she threw outside the window? You must really love that song. If you're calling up to ask for it when you know we don't have like. it. Like. Well, I, I do love it. And I don't want to argue, but you do have it. It's just outside the window. There's a serial killer on the loose. Like, I can't just I go really outside feel... for a record. I'm really sorry, Don, but we just can't get it right now. But wasn't the whistling man just at the old murder house? That's miles from the station. It won't take you a second to grab it. 
Don, I'm not sure if you've heard, but there's something unnatural about this freak. He's he's fast. I'm not risking it. That's smart. Oh, but I think you will. Forrest, Peggy, I'm, I'm calling with more than a request. I know something. I think I know who's going to be next. What? Are you serious? Play my song, Forrest, and you'll find out. Oh, come on. Why? Uh, well, folks, here's some music for you while I make things over. Why? <laughs> You're going to love this next track. Is she serious, Peggy? She's serious about hearing that song, that's for sure. This is a bad idea. I mean, is she serious about... I don't know, Forrest, but we don't really have a choice, do we? If she's telling the truth... All right. Oh, God do damn it. it. You're a good man, Forrest. I'm gonna die. I'll slide you the key to the fire door. Wait, wait. Our fire door has to be unlocked? Yeah, it... Uh, you know, I never thought about it, but yeah. We should talk to Reggie about that later. Anyway, I'll hold the fort down while you're out. Maybe I'll even get a caller. That could be exciting. Oh, this is gonna... This part is gonna suck. The screen. With me, Peggy. Hey, she could do that. Okay. So we got the key to the fire door. That's not opening. Oh, is that the one downstairs, like through the staff door? It has to be. All right, so. Oh, this isn't creepy at all. I hope she'll be happy when I'm brutally murdered by the whistling man. Out here. In the open. Oh, we got a fuse for something? Hello. Another fuse? Even more fuses? This is where the person got caught and died? Definitely not liking this. Why are there so many fuses on the ground? Okay. Oh, come on. No. You are not... No, you are not going to do that to me. You are not going to do that to me. No. Here it is. Long ride home. God damn it. Of course, it locks behind me. Lovely. And of course, the key doesn't work on this side. Fantastic. Maybe there's another way back in through the basement. A, a door, an elevator, or something. Like this thing right here. Okay. So, the fuses have to be for something. Oh, a fuse box right here. Looks like I'm going to have to hunt around for some new fuses. So, 70. Okay. Twenty. 30, 50, 20, 15, okay. So, we've got the three fuses that I need. We gotta go get the 15, the blue one. So I'm thinking the dude that we saw at the end was the the killer. I'm hoping it's not. But 
If it is, I 100% blame Dawn for this. This is all her fault. Okay. Bingo. Okay. So we got that open. I could probably survive that fall. Looks like the janitor's closet. What did Peggy say his name was? Hey. Clive. Oh, shit. Oh, what the? Huh. Holy I'll crap. I just... I, I'll just take Dear that. God. Might be important. Holy what shit. What the hell? Peggy what is, is not going to believe this. What is with this room? What in the actual fuck is this shit? This man's got some issues. Holy fuck. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how the show's going. That's locked. Okay. Oh, she's on air. I also don't like that I cannot run. Isn't that such a good song, folks? And now for... Jesus, Forrest, you've been gone for ages. I thought something had happened. Something did happen. Clive the janitor might be Clive the murderer. He Clive? just might be. Let's start from the beginning. The, uh, the fire door locked behind me. So... Okay, so we're explaining stuff. 2.40 a.m. It's only been two hours and 40 minutes into our shift. Why did you heave that thing all the way up here? Uh, because the basement's creepy as hell, and I don't like standing around down there. Fair. All right, let's run through this again. We have a creepy board you found in a creepy basement made by our creepy oh. janitor, who you think is the creepy whistling man. Oh, shit. Yep. And on the creepy board are the names Chuck Brody, Kim Walker, Rebecca Allen and Aunt Williams. Correct. And you think one Dude, of now I get to now I get to like try to put this together. Lives, next target. That's right. And we've got to find them. Oh, this is awesome. This is getting better. Locations listed there too. The hospital, the power station, the gas station, and the trailer park. Clive must think the target is at one of those locations. Forrest, you're going to have to figure out if any of the potential targets are at one of these locations. So one of the, it has to be on this Hit record. Hit the button if you need any help. Uh, let's take a look at this. Marriage announcement. Kim Walker, Peter... S Peter Stein. What is this? Referred to as R.A. Rebecca Allen, maybe? If that is, that's like a horrible thing. Like, that's not very hidden. Uh, Ant Williams and junior engineer Sean Everett. Ant Williams? Let's see... Okay, D. Rudd, M. Okay, Rudd, Hewton, Stein, Stein, Mildred. Okay, it's none of that. Put that up there for now. What is this? Uh. 
Uh, Tyler Wallace. Of being a local celebrity. Oh, Gal. Okay. Okay, that's Chuck Brody. Uh, what is this? Uh, the lead engineer responsible for the Gallows Creek Harvest Festival disaster? So that has to be that, because... So Ant Williams is was the lead engineer. Oh. 12 of which were students from Gallows Creek High. Sheriff Matthews? Uh, let's see this. Lottery winner. Man who won the lottery 14 years ago. Okay, nothing. Oh, moves out of Gallows Creek for a new life in the big city. Oh, wait. Kim Walker, Festival of Disaster. How is that related to Chuck Brady or Chuck Brody? Oh, buying him some lottery tickets. Um, only stole a few cars. Okay. Yeah, man who won the lottery, so... Chuck Brody had lottery tickets purchased for him. There's that. So Chuck Brody bought... that. Diary of a Car Thief, Police Informant, Tell All Book, Crime Syndicate. Uh, let's see. Rebecca Allen? Uh, let's see. Uh Let's see. Or maybe he didn't write that? I don't know. So, I mean, that's tied to that. So, this tragedy one... Failed to stop crashing into a fuel tanker. Donations... Oh, Peter Stein. Okay, that's tied to Kim Walker. Car thefts. But how does this all... tie together? 
Well, gas station. Chuck Brody. Well, because he bought a gas station. Hospital. Maybe Kim Walker? Rebecca Allen. Trailer Park. Oh, Aunt Williams Power Station. And Kim Walker Hospital. How's it going? Let's see, it's let's see if we well. can get anything from her. We could use some help. Okay, let's review the basics. We need to work out who the next target is. There's four locations, right? And four people. We yeah. need to figure out if anyone is at any of the four locations tonight. And if they are, we can call them and warn them. There must be some connections between the notes. That makes sense. Great. Need any more help? I'm good now. Thanks, Peggy. No problem. Let's see if this tells me anything. Okay. Okay, so I don't think that that gives How's me anything. How's it going? I'm ready, Peggy. Are you sure? We've only got one shot at this. Let's do this. I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay. Name first. Who do you think the target is? Um Chuck Brody. And where will I find them? Gas, Gas station. station. Okay, I'm dialing. One moment. Hello? Chuck Brody! Listen, I know this sounds crazy, but we have reason to believe the Whistling Man is coming for you. You need to get yourself and everyone else out right now. The Whistling Man? Who the hell are you? Who is this? This is Boris Nash. Listen, the Whistling Man's back. You need to get out. List with your name you need to get out now. Oh, God. It's today. The year I finally let myself forget. I... Forget? Forget what? Forget. No, no, man. I gotta get out of here. Get out of there, man. Well, we got him out. I... I think he ran off. Well, fingers crossed that Chuck... Jeez! Ah! It sounds like something blew up. He's using bombs now? What the I... hell? I... Is Chuck... I don't know. Hang on. We're getting a call. Hello? Chuck? Chuck! Of course. The whole goddamn gas station's got up. Is anyone hurt? Did I just luck I out on this? So. I got everyone to follow me out. The town's only ambulance was blown to hell, though. Yeah. Damn it, that fireball threw me. I've got to get to the hospital. I'm not feeling great. Holy right, shit. I can't thank you enough, but... Yeah. I gotta go. Wait, I... Damn it. We lost him. What was that about today? Oh, Forrest, the call board is lighting up. All right. Get us into some music while I deal with this. Here's some music. While okay, we let's play the song that she wants. KFAM 189.16, The Stream. Okay, so what's happening? This is a song that Don wanted. There's gotta be more in the basement to show us who Clive is targeting. And if that's the case, we can get ahead of him. Stop the killings before they can happen. Forrest, we need to go back down. No, By that's we, a- No! You mean me, right? Yep. 
Like I said, I need to handle all these calls. Maybe start with that creepy mannequin room you mentioned God before. damn it! I still have a lot of questions about those, by the way. Me too. Wow, she just waved goodbye. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Okay. Really don't like this. Okay. Hmm. Oh. A key. Was this always basement? Here? Oh no, that was not. Brought oh. Upstairs. Was that board? Okay, the board was covering it. Oh, look at all these creepy ass mannequins. Oh, look at that was pointing towards it. Oh, hello. Okay, I have a mannequin arm. It's gonna protect me. Okay. God damn it, Peggy! Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Peggy, what is this? I found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Is there a tape player here? Oh, there is. He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Okay. Keep looking. Buzz the intercom when you found something. Hmm. So there's going to be. Ah. Oh, okay. Definitely not liking the feeling of this, boss. Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. Typically obtained by running. This looks useful. Oh, okay. It's an autopsy tape. Doesn't say for who, but I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. Something's bugging me, Peggy. Okay. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Do you think you've met her before? I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. What okay. Say? It sounds like he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Sandra. The 
jazz runner? That's right. Oh, she yeah. Found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But that's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. But, yeah, not important right now. Okay. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. What are you suggesting, then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. And somebody moved it. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that. I think. Well... Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. Oh. Still alive. Once we're done down here, we should give her a call. Do you think you found everything for us? I think there's got to be more down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? Is he catching How everybody that like covered up his his death? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. But why the kids, though? I mean, that would kind of be why he let that person go. I really don't like this. Holy shit. I mean, there's that tape right there, but... If you're listening to this, then I'm probably dead. What the... A new vinyl for my collection. What he did back then? This has to be important. Resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Okay, we know about that one. Following that, he was moved. Oh. Oh. Interesting, okay. So I didn't find this one yet. Additionally, there appears to be Okay, that's pointing to the one that's inside there.
Hmm. So we're looking for a... Oh, here. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. However, a high amount of cortisol was found, indicating elevated levels of stress in the immediate moments before death. Okay. All right. What have you found, Forrest? There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It they was lied. Paper and everything. I found a written autopsy report. What did it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. But that contradicts the tape. I know, and I think I know why. There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? <sighs> if only she had made it. Damn! Then we might have learned more about what's going on. It's okay. idea was a long shot as it was. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah. I don't know how that died. happened, but... How do you suppose they can tell? How can they tell? I'm a radio producer, not a coroner. Man! Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? Unless he got it when the police collected his body, I guess someone else must have moved him after he was the only explanation where he was eventually found. But the report, what is going on here? It's a cover up. In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did George was running from something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post death. She agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded Virginia stop recording. I, I that did sound fine. like him. This is starting to make sense now. This, this is a conspiracy to cover up what happened to George. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he He died. might just be getting revenge. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the Whistling Man already got him? Possibly. We've had a lot of callers tonight, but... Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but... Clive said he had read about other murders in other towns. Okay. And that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. And the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. He was tracking them down to save them. That Ugh, makes sense. Why didn't he just come out with all of this? He said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Oh, Clive. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. So we prematurely blamed Clive? Do you think you found everything? <sighs> I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. Yes. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. When you're ready, we need to figure out our next step. Holy shit, this is getting deep. 3 a.m., baby. Thank God you're back, Forrest. I've been running out of stuff to pad our airtime with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. I mean, really. 
How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? I still have the arm. This is our job, Peggy. We, we gotta do it. Yeah, look at the arm. You're right. So, what's the plan now? <sighs> well, we know Sandra <laughs> was involved in George's death. All right, we add the arm to you our collection. I do. All right, but before we go asking questions, I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah. We need to ask her about finding the body. She was the one who discovered it, but something just doesn't add up.